Hurts. Hurts be hurtins. They just claimed, declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy not too long ago. Roughly $19 billion owned to the banks and bondholders. So it's one of the largest companies driven by default in COVID-19 pandemic. So all the information's online. Feel free to check it out. But just prime opportunity. If they're able to pull out of this and reorganize, so Chapter 11 being they re reorganize their company as opposed to Chapter 11 where they just liquefy, liquidate rather everything. Here they're going to restructure their business. They can still come out net positive in some regard. They can reissue shares or they could consider the shares that they currently have and just build upon those. So honestly, I've I put in a position. They're at a, a paltry buck 80 right now. Um, but even if they declare that these shares aren't valued or worth anything, you know, I'm out not too much, and I will be waiting in line to buy the others that come out. There's a strong demand for car rentals, specifically nowadays. There's a three-week, three-week, excuse me, waiting period for vehicles. It hurts Avis, any of the car rental facilities and businesses. Do we know why that is? Is it? Have put is it they strong have demand cars now? Do you and know shortage of supply or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, a lot of them to deal with the shortage of. Uh, folks renting cars you know obviously there's a they had to impose that nobody travels etc so with the travel agencies not booking anybody they had to sell off their cars to stay to stay solvent so a lot of them have sold off hundreds of thousands of cars to use car dealerships and uh and trying to make it it work on their end so 